Okay, hi everyone, it's Kev's Maker, it's YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And we're gonna be talking about previews and reviews of the AFLW. Now, we're gonna be previewing the game and Melbourne Footy Club for the women's. Um, now, this one's an interesting game for us because Melbourne are a really good team. They have, I think, I'm pretty sure they've lost one off. They could lose more than one. Um, but they're also against the Bulldogs now. They want to bounce back. And for sure they will because they are a, a terrific team. That, that fight, that hunger, the way that they want to go about it is good. Now, we are very good team this year compared to last year. I think we would have lost a few of the games. For sure we would have. But I'll tell you why that that this is an important game. We are still second on the ladder. We have to see what Fremantle do. Um we eventually might have to play Fremantle. We might have to play some of the teams we played once, twice. Um, so it's it's an uncomfortable position for us. For 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 the rest. But we know that what we need to do. Um, yes, we have lost Sarah, but we can cover her. I've got no doubt on that. I think we can win without her. I think we can really do well without her. Um, certainly we can, must win. I want to see a good effort. I did have us beating last week when we did win um, against North Melbourne and North Melbourne a good team if we can start beating teams like Melbourne who are very good um, Melbourne or a team that we haven't played particularly well I think we may have beaten maybe once or we may not have beaten them at all but just think at the moment the way that we've gone about it is is a must. Um, but we have played these type of games before. This is another big game. The way that we played our footy, I absolutely love it. And I think for that we must keep going. Now the number one now my top five now everybody knows that I will ramble on about this, but the top five that I have is pretty simple. Can we stop Paxman and Daisy Pierce? We must stop those two. We must. Because they're very good players for Melbourne and that's how they set up their, their run beautifully. Now, I know that we aren't a very good team. Like, we can get exposed a little bit. But I think if we play the way what we did against North Melbourne and the way we, and the way we did against Storm, particularly the way that we play against... North Melbourne, Dong, Carlton, you, you know, we put in there because it, it's a must win game. So that's number one. Number two is I'm going to put this on ahead. Can our forward line step up again? Now, I know I'm putting pressure on our forward line, but we need to win. This is. I'm more concerned. I, I am more concerned about our forward line. And the reason why I am more concerned about our forward line is because we have played really well, but some in, some of the times that we do kick up, you know, that we don't try and kick to a one-on-one -on -one contest down, like, on, like close towards the boundary line so we can try and take those marks. And our, our game plan that we did do 
worked well, but now it's time for us to keep going. So if we can dominate our fall line, then that's going to be number one. If, if we dominate our fall line, that, that's definitely going to be number one on, on our list as well. Now, number three is our defense. Let, let's be honest. Stacey Livingston, she's in career best form. Ruby Slash is another one. Jordan Al Allen's another one. Sophie Casey, who has stepped up as well. A few of these girls have, and I think that's great. Can they keep it up for just one more week? So. I, I, I think we have got a, 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 a good chance of winning. So, if our defence can step up once again, it goes a long way for us to win the game. Number of four is our midfield. Can we start winning the clearances off our Rockman and off Melbourne's Rockman now? 90% I would say that we have to win the, the hit outs so we can start winning the clearances. Because then we can set up behind the ball and that's how we can yeah, and take the intercept marks. I think it's, it, it, it's a real must for that. And number five, I'm going to have to say our game plan. Can we continue on with our game plan? That, that is a the little bit concern for me. It's a sell out for tomorrow, in which so, so it should be 50% capacity. Now, um, we have to play well. And if we can't play, if we don't win, is it a concern? Yes and no, no, but depends on how we played. I don't want to get exposed to Melbourne. We 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 didn't beat North Melbourne for the first couple of times. Now we have been. I think we may have been Melbourne once. I'm confident that we have. If not, then we got to make this as a must win game. All, all these games are a must win game for us. We can't afford not to. For that, uh, I see us as a, a, a really good chance of, of, of performing well. Now, my my tips in probably like prediction in a way, I'm going to say Collingwood by 15 points. The reason why I say that, I think it will be a close game. But, 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 I'm going to say this. Brianna Davey, 26, 25 plus possessions. Maybe a goal or two. And then, and then, we're going to have Chloe Malloy kicking a goal. Just one goal, that's all we need. Okay, guys, um, I hope you guys do like this video. That's going to be the end of it. Um... If you're new magpies, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like and what you on what you're watching. But but and also before I do forget, if you're a returning magpies, please like and comment. Forty three subscribers, fuck yeah. So until next time, calm the pies. Love you all. I'll see you with another video.